In the Luhansk region, during the assaults, the enemy used Ziguli cars and motorcycles, probably due to a lack of equipment. This was reported by the officer of the planning section of the Rubez Brigade of Ukraine, Major of the National Guard, Dmitry Gozubenko, on air at Kiev 24. In the area of the Rubez Brigade's defense, the enemy is currently not using equipment during assaults. But when they were, our FPV drone operators were working on tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, Gozubenko said. According to him, the military even destroyed light-wheeled vehicles such as Ziguli and even motorcycles in this direction. Russian soldiers riding motorcycles, dirt bikes, quadricycles and dune buggies now account for about half of all attacks in some areas of the front. Soldiers and commanders say as Moscow's forces attempt to use speed to cross exposed open spaces where its lumbering armored vehicles are easy targets. These non-conventional vehicles have been turning up with such frequency that some Ukrainian trenches now overlook junkyards of abandoned, blown-up, off-road vehicles, videos from reconnaissance drones show. The new tactic is the latest Russian adaption for a heavily mined, continually surveyed battlefield as Moscow's forces work to achieve some tactical gains, often of just a few hundred yards. In early April, fighters of the National Guard of Ukraine captured an occupier from the Russian Marine Brigade who tried to storm Ukrainian positions on a moped. During the work of one of the aerial reconnaissance units in the Urozenoi area, UAV operators noticed a Russian soldier who was approaching Ukrainian positions on a moped and then tried to quietly approach closer and conduct reconnaissance, the National Guard said. The fighters of the 21st National Guard Brigade were already waiting for the uninvited guest. The National Guard reported that the prisoner was 43 years old and served under contract in the ranks of the Marine Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces. Since September 2023, he has been taking part in military operations in the Donetsk region. According to the prisoner, he was called up to serve as a driver but was then transferred to an assault unit. Recall, some Russian units have been employing unorthodox combat transport such as Chinese ATV, and motorcycles to carry out attacks over the weekend, but it was conventional infantry supported by artillery that secured gains in the tactically important Chasivya sector, according to the mainstream and social media channels.